everybody welcome to fun friday and this is the friday after christmas um in 2012 so we have almost made it through the holidays you're nearly there don't give up yet um we still have one major event happening which is new year's eve and for most of us i mean i know you might be watching this and you still kind of have that feeling like uh you know like a can of biscuits that's popped open like you know from all of the holiday foods because a lot of times even if we watch our calories it's just if our bodies aren't used to that kind of food and by no means am i saying go out and get used to it okay but um you know if if maybe we indulged in some cookies or pies or you know maybe some of the um higher fat fare that happens with christmas dinners and things then our bodies can can tend to to hold on to it and um it doesn't want to let it go because it's like it's like your body gets so excited that it's in there ah, i don't want to let go so there's a few things that you can do to get around that one as always is you want to make sure that you're pushing lots and lots of water because that's going to help you in a ton of ways but it's it's really going to help just kind of flush the system out get the body moving again um, you can also think about adding lemon juice to your water throughout the day that helps to flush out the liver which is one of your major fat burning organs and um, you can also think about maybe adding some apple cider vinegar and I know a lot of people have asked you know what's the benefits of apple cider vinegar it's like a huge thing now you know everybody's doing it everybody's talking about it and you know well if everybody else is doing it I'm joking okay don't jump off a bridge um, apple cider vinegar helps to maintain the balance within the body so if you're feeling very bloated just very weighed down you can mix that just it really it's to taste I mean I'm a weirdo and I like the taste of it so I put a whole bunch in my hot water with my honey and cinnamon but um, some people really hate the taste or the smell of it so you know just a little little bit is gonna any any amounts gonna help and make sure that if you have any issues such as stomach ulcers anything like that check with your doctor before you do any of the lemon juice or apple cider vinegar or anything like that because it can tend to upset them um, you can also look back at the blog at the green drink and drink that one or two times a day that's going to help flush the system out as well and it helps to get uh, good vitamins into the system lots of trace minerals into the system but it helps kind of push the bad stuff out and also what you can do is you know get back into don't stop moving don't stop moving you know and i know it's so difficult during this time of year because I know here in particular, since we aren't very used to the cold weather, you know, yesterday I think it only got up to 40 something, which some of you may be watching going, woo, heat wave. Um, to us here in Southeast Texas, that's like, we don't go anywhere. And it was rainy, drizzly too. And so it's not really when you think, oh man, I want to go exercise, whether or not you work out outside or inside, it doesn't matter. We just don't want to go anywhere. We just want to curl up and watch a movie and eat. Um, so don't worry that's a survival technique and it doesn't mean you're a bad person but keep moving schedule it plan it commit to it stick to it and make it happen even if you have to bounce it around a little bit you know like for me i'm normally a morning exerciser and um for this week since everybody's kind of had a, a sporadic week and we're all going different places i've been getting up and doing you know maybe a little bit of cardio in the morning and then i might do my weight work in the evening and that's very strange for me but my body seems to be adapting well so um that can also you know it can push you towards progress so that's good too and then another thing is just to make sure as you're planning for the new year you know really plan plan ahead because the one thing that you don't want to happen is you don't want to go overboard new year's eve new year's eve is not a free-for-all it's not a i'm gonna make those resolutions and so i'm gonna go crazy tonight and drink till i can't stand and you know when we start drinking then we start eating things that we know don't make us feel good and so make sure that you have a plan that's going to help you because you don't want to wake up new year's day and feel like you are a slave to your resolutions because you blew it all the very last day of 2012. So think about, you know, a little bit of moderation, a couple of drinks aren't bad. Um, you know, make sure that you know what food's gonna be there. If you're going to a party or hosting a party, provide the vegetables, you know, little snack vegetables. If you don't like raw vegetables, think about marinating them. That's my new favorite thing is to marinate vegetables and then just eat them, it's fabulous. Um, or, you know, take vegetable dips things like that you can make any fat or any any fat hot any fat healthier 
any dip healthier by adding either healthy fats or taking the fat such as mayonnaise out of it and adding a Greek yogurt to it. So, you know, just think about that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, make your swaps. Make your swaps. Know what you need to do to make it work for you. And I will see you back here in the brand new year. Keep checking in because I'm going to be talking to you about your goals. We're going to talk about how 2013 is really going to be your very best year. And you're going to be able to knock off some of those goals and never, ever, ever have to put them on your resolutions list again because you're going to figure out how to reach them. So until I see you next time, I hope that you have a healthy day.